Hello. In this video, I just wanted to talk about seaweed in the Cancun, Puerto Morelos, Playa del Carmen, Acumal area of Mexico. Um, and really, I, um, I know this has become more of a topic um, in recent years, so that's why I decided to make this video, just to share my own personal experiences um, uh, visiting a resort that had seaweed on the beach. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, I used to look at Facebook videos, uh, uh, videos on Facebook on the official pages of resorts, and of course, used to look at and still look at pictures of resorts on their official websites, management photos, which show the beach very clear, just perfect, pristine beach, no seaweed. Um, and of course, videos on Facebook, uh, 2014, 2015, 2016. Um, which showed the beach, um, those videos posted by the official pages, Facebook pages of resorts, the beach is um, just perfectly clear water, just immaculate, very beautiful ocean, just clear water. But of course, um, maybe starting uh, before, a little bit before 2018, maybe even more before that, but around 2018 is when I think I certainly started to notice that. Well, we went to Excellence Riviera Cancun. Um, I'm just going to put a video of that on the screen right now. Excellence Riviera Cancun in 2018 in May, which is uh, it's located in Puerto Morelos, which is not too far from the Cancun International Airport. And one of the first things I noticed when I looked at the beach was that oh, yeah, there is quite a bit of seaweed. There's quite a bit of seaweed um, in the in the ocean um, and washing up on the beach. Uh, and fortunately, and also we went there in 2019 as well in May and experienced the same exact thing. So this video is either from 2018 or 2019, but it doesn't matter. In the warmer months, there will be seaweed washing up on the beach. Fortunately, at Excellence Riviera Cancun, there was a team of uh, people to clean up the seaweed, which is great. And they were working extremely hard um, throughout the day to clean up the seaweed um, so that it's just easier for people to get from the beach into the ocean and to swim. But really, if they were not cleaning it up, if they weren't working extremely hard to clean it up, it would pile up very quickly, really. I mean, that's its nature. It's just going to keep going. Um, it's going to keep washing up on the beach and it uh, would smell and it's difficult to then get from the beach, walk into the ocean to swim without stepping all over all that seaweed. And most people probably wouldn't. And most people probably wouldn't want to do that or really wouldn't want to look at the seaweed. And I get it. I mean... It's not the worst thing in the world, especially if you just want to sit in a lounge chair on the beach, right? I mean, it's fine. But but truthfully, um, if it does pile up on the beach, um, it's not really something that we necessarily want to look at. And it does end up smelling, if it, especially if it stays there. So fortunately, it was being cleaned up, which actually, which actually makes a huge difference. Um, but, but the truth is that um, in recent years, this has become more of a thing, um, seeing a lot of seaweed uh, on the beach. And I only saw it in... Um, Puerto Morelos, because that's where we went in May 2018, 2019. Um, and um, yes, so during the during the warmer months, definitely, um, it's you're likely to see seaweed. So maybe starting in May or April or June or whatever, uh, depending on where you're going. But some people, I mean, there's really a lot of threads on the forums, like on TripAdvisor. I've seen this topic being discussed more uh, uh, very frequently, just because in recent years, this is this is. Um, this phenomenon has has just been occurring. So, um, I mean, I'm not going to get into like what are the possible causes, but but just to let you know, as as just basically, it shows up in warmer months. And a good question to ask people, whether it's on a Facebook group or on a forum such as TripAdvisor, is um, is there seaweed right now, uh, wherever you are? And then the person can answer and just say, well, I'm at this resort and there's seaweed, and that kind of will give you just an indication of you know in the future years if you're deciding to go to that particular resort at that particular time, is there likely to be seaweed? Well, so, but, but, but truthfully, um, a lot of people would like to know, um, for example, um, myself included, uh, let's say I'm going to this particular resort in this particular month of this particular year, is there going to be a lot of seaweed? And the answer is really, um, you can't say for sure. I mean, there is no way to predict, um, um, if you're going on this particular week to this particular resort, is there going to be lots of seaweed in front of the area in front of this particular resort and really there's no answer for that except um if you just go around and read um let's say in the summer um june through august if you just go around and look at the forums or even in september and you just read about those topics okay is there seaweed or you go to facebook groups of specific resorts and just ask around is there seaweed right right now and then people at the resort might tell you they'll answer pretty quickly. I think these Facebook groups are a great way to get information about particular resorts. And that'll just give you an idea of, oh, maybe if I decide to go next year in August or June or July, 
is there going to be seaweed? And for most people, this might not be important. I mean, if you don't swim in the ocean, if you're just kind of walking around the beach, it's not really a big deal. So um, maybe for you, it doesn't matter. But just for me personally, I just think it's interesting because it really has just shown up in more recent years. And if we're looking at and if you're looking at a website of a resort and you see these management photos with a perfect clear water, like if they have wave breakers or they have some kind of lagoon and it's just perfectly clear water, just be aware that you don't necessarily know when that picture was taken. Maybe it was taken in winter months when there's no seaweed. And that's not to say that um, those resorts are lying when they put those management photos, but can it be a little bit deceptive just because in more recent years, you can see that those old management photos might be outdated. Maybe there will be seaweed in the summer. Um, maybe they won't clean it up. Maybe they'll just put a rope around an area of the beach and that'll keep some seaweed out, but not all of it. Maybe areas next to your resort will have tons of seaweed and you just you can just look around and maybe you don't like the way it looks and maybe it smells. So um, that's the truth. You really just want to keep in mind that um, um, any resort can look amazing and maybe they are amazing with the right you know, photography, uh, especially if um, you photograph a resort in winter and then the summer there's actually seaweed, but you photographed it in the winter when there's no seaweed. And again, I'm not trying to say that the resorts are lying, but just be aware that it's possible that if, if you do really enjoy um, swimming in the ocean from time to time, just be aware that in the warmer months, there can potentially be seaweed in front of your resort. Um, and I'm really only talking about Mexico. Um, that's because I've been to Mexico in the last few years, starting in May of 2017, all the way up until uh, most recently we went in February, um, early February to Playa del Carmen, and there was no seaweed. Um, again, it was winter. So I'm not talking about Punta Cana. Um, I'm just talking about Mexico right now because that's where I have the experience. So if you looked at some of those videos that I was just, those clips that I was showing, it just shows you that it's being cleaned up in this particular resort. And this was May 2018, May 2019, Excellence Riviera, Cancun, and Puerto Morelos, um, near Cancun, near the Cancun area, near the International Airport. Um, there might be seaweed in the warmer months, and um, it's nothing to be really concerned about if, if, if you're not swimming in the ocean. Or if there's just a little bit of seaweed, really nothing to be concerned about. It's not really... Um, when I went and I swam in the ocean, obviously there was some seaweed in the ocean, but it was fine. I mean, the water was warm. It was being cleaned up by the workers. So really there was nothing for me to complain about. Um, I mean, I really didn't even think it was a big deal. I was just happy to be on vacation. Um, but that's really much, that's pretty much it. It's not really a big deal, but just keep in mind that it has some, it has been happening in the last few years. I don't know if it's ever going to get uh, better or worse, meaning is there going to be more seaweed in the war in the warmer months or less? Is is there kind of is there a trend? I mean, I'm not getting into any of that. I mean, the truth is that you're going to enjoy your vacation, hopefully. And um, just something to keep in mind if you if you're on a Facebook group, maybe just ask, say, is there is there seaweed in in the summer? Or if you're just if you're posting your question in the summer, is there seaweed right now? And hopefully someone will answer your question and they'll be able to tell you. I definitely think Facebook groups are really good. Um, one of my family members has a Facebook account. We sometimes look at these uh, Facebook pages, these Facebook groups of these resorts, and uh, you can just join and they'll accept you, hopefully. Um, and that's a right, really great way to get information about specific resorts. Also going on the TripAdvisor forums, maybe the Cancun forum, just go to Google and search Cancun forum TripAdvisor. And then you can, um, there's a very helpful uh, community of people there to answer your questions. And seaweed is certainly a, a topic sometimes. So, uh, but again, some people, I mean, there are, there are some resorts maybe that are less prone to having seaweed. For example, uh, maybe resorts at the top of the Cancun hotel zone, maybe Hyatt Ziva Cancun, for example. I mean, I've been there a few times and I really liked it. I really like the beach there. Um, so it's definitely good just to ask, especially if you've never been to a particular resort and um, if you do really want to go out to swim in the ocean and you're concerned if you're going in the summer, just, just good to ask that question. But keep in mind that there's really no guarantee. Um, is there going to be seaweed? Is there going to be a lot? Is there going to be a little bit in that particular week? There's really no guarantee. I mean, we can't really predict the future with respect to that. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't really have much to say except for the fact that, yes, I did go in 2018, 2019 to Puerto Morelos in May. And I did see with my very own eyes that there was a lot of seaweed. But thankfully, they were cleaning it up, which actually did make a huge difference. If they weren't cleaning it up, uh, probably, probably, I'm not sure if I would have even gone in the water because the seaweed would have started washing up and would have started getting backed up and actually staying in the water close to the beach. So it would have been probably difficult to even go swimming to get into the ocean without stepping over piles and piles of seaweed, which might have been smelling. 
might have started smelling if it wasn't being cleaned up. So um, that's it for this video, and uh, thanks for watching.